All right, guys, Ghetto Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting in the office this morning getting ready to get geared up for work. I'm going to tell you something. Java, good stuff. This is a cup that my mother had. She had two of them. And uh, I guess these things got to be at least 30, 40 years old. It's my favorite cup, though, besides the ones that my kids made me for Father's Day. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about this week coming up. And I'm doing this video so it can help remind me of what I got to do for you guys as far as vid videos are going. We're, gonna, uh, we're really close to our range this week, so it's going to allow me to get out there probably two days and uh, do some shooting. So hopefully it won't be crowded and we'll be able to do what we got to do. All right, so let's talk about the first thing. It's going to be AK-47 time. We're going to be shooting these guys right here. This is the Golden Tiger 762 by 39 full metal jacket boat tail lead core steel case non-corrosive. Anyway, these are really good for shooting with the ACSS reticle. And what are we going to be doing? We're going to be testing out two optics from uh, primary arms. One being this guy right here. This is their brand new Gen 3 3 power prism scope with the uh, ACSS reticle. And you know how I, I like the ACSS reticle? We'll probably take this thing out to at least 600 yards, seeing how it rolls. But I'm very excited about it. We're going to be doing a tabletop review on it. And then what we'll do is we'll flip over and we'll put it on the rifle and see how it goes. All right, so what else are we doing? I kind of gave you guys the uh, preview of this little guy right here. This is the ACSS Vulcan 2 power prism scope. Okay, one of the cool things about a prism scope is it has an adjustable diopter right here. Unlike, say, the ACOG. Uh, so if you have corrected vision, I can use this to clear, clear up the reticle. And man, I tell you what, so far so good. Another thing that we're going to be doing is I'm going to do a review of this guy right here. This is the UTG Pro uh, AK-47 mount. And the reason we use are using this thing right here is because my Midwest Industries mount, it goes over too far. I mean, it's about a quarter inch off center of the uh, rifle. So I went ahead and ordered this thing. I think it was $47 or something like that. But I tell you what, I like the way it mounts. Uh, it's on there. It's on there tight. So we're going to have fun. So we're going to do a, a tabletop review mounting of the uh, rail system. And then we're going to do a tabletop review and a range review of this guy right here. Guys, the reason I'm doing this is if you have any questions about some of these items, you can present me with some questions down below in the comment section so that I can address those during the review. Now, what else have we got coming up? It's nine millimeter red dot week. Ooh, yay. All right. So uh, a lot of times you'll see me out doing optics of all different values. We've got a new one from the guys over there at Penty. Penty. That's right. Simple red dot. Uh, we're going to be putting it on the rifle. What are we going to be using? We're going to be using this guy. Oh, Nelly, get down with it. Do push-ups. We're going to be using this guy right here. I love using a 9mm pistol caliber carbine for red dot testing because it gives you... Red dot, in my opinion, they're, they're for fast acquisition. And when you can take this thing and start hitting steel with it, it one, it makes for a great video. Two, it, you get to really see get a good sense of how fast that red dot is. I shoot with both eyes open, so one of the things that we're trying to do is move, 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 engage, 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 engage. So we're going to be doing a Penty Red Dot as well as the new 25 millimeter Red Dot from the guys over there at Primary Arms. Of course, you probably knew that. <laughs> Primary Arms. All right, let's put this stuff down. Uh, and I wrote all this stuff down. Another thing that we're going to be doing, i got a couple mags for my uh, X5 here is we're going to be testing out this guy right here. This is a level two body panel from the guys over there at Premier Body Armor, right out of North Carolina, man. Love those guys. Uh, this is basically one of those backpack inserts. And uh, what you can do is you, it's, it's pretty much good for anything up to about 44 Magnum. So yes, we are going to See there, little bear in the woods with his level two armor. Little you know, needs a 44 Magnum, you know, 230 grain. That's it. So anyway, we're gonna test it out with 40 cal, nine millimeter. Uh, I'm gonna break this guy out. I know everybody's not real happy with uh, uh, what do you call those guys? Springfield Armory, but this is the V16 long slide. This is a very rare firearm. 
I'd say very rare. But there's not a lot of them out there, and I've got some plus P ammo because this shoots the 45 Super. And oh yeah, it's super. Look at those slots up there. Very cool, ported. We are also, hold on, I'm gonna put that down. This is why I have to basically write it all down, otherwise I'll forget it, and then I'm all lost during the middle of the day. Uh, 38 Special, this is the Colt. This here is the Cobra. I've never fired this pistol. So we're gonna take it out, put some uh, heavy grains through it, and check out that body armor. Another thing is we're gonna do, uh, this was sent to the channel by the guys over there at uh, Optics Planet. We've got a new uh, discount code, KB32. That's it, KB32, uh, for 5% off on your full order. <laughs> yeah, let's do a commercial. For KB for 5% off on your full order at Optics Planet, use the discount code of KB32. That's right, KB32. But anyway, we're gonna be playing around with this guy in the near future. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we do have a, another barrel and blade box. We'll probably do that uh, on the road review. Barrel and blade. For your discount code, I think it's KB3, no, it's Coda Boy KB19 or something. I'll put the discount code when we do the video in there. I, I can't remember these things. Uh, what else are we doing? Uh, this guy right here. I have been in the in the in the business of doing reviews on bags and such uh this is a uh, rifle bag from the guys over there at links defense oh shit oh uh, nope uh, that's spent cases <laughs> anyway this is a really nice bag because it is short and i keep uh the wildebeest in here and i've run this bag and i tested it out uh this and the other bag perfect because one of the things I do enjoy is they lay flat in the back of the trunk. I can put three rifles in these things and one is when you're going back and forth to the hotel, nobody knows what this is. It's my keyboard because I'm a musician. Anyway, we'll do a big time review on that one. It's due. Uh, another thing we're going to be doing, and this is a very busy week guys, this is why we're doing this video. Uh, along with the 9mm, we're going to be doing a, a review on this pistol caliber carbine 9mm bolt from the guys over there at Cryptic Coatings. I've also got a discount code for these guys, and we'll be putting that out. I actually went over there and visited with them. Incredible people. Uh, I, I, I really, really enjoyed uh, learning more and more about these things. Uh, one of the things that I did learn, and I actually put a bolt from all to, uh, BCG, the whole complete BCG together. Uh, from start to finish and, and it was pretty neat uh, but we are going to do a full-blown review on this guy right here this is uh, on its own a uh, bulk carrier group from cryptic coatings this is their gold uh, i can't remember the exact name of it but we'll get to it during the review and in doing these reviews check this out uh, you know you got uh, the what is his name instructor chad over there very good channel does a great job uh, but we went out and I've got that set of pins as well as, uh, this is the one that I was waiting to come in. We've got uh, this set of test pins. <laughs> so we're gonna be able to do pretty much what he does. And I guess, because everybody's like, you need to go over there and check his channel out. I did, and I learned a lot. And we're going to start implementing some of the things that he does in what we do. But for me, most importantly, what, what matters, uh, how the, does the bolt run? Does it run? Period. That's all I'm worried about. Okay, uh, so we have the UTG. Oh, another thing that we're going to do is a review on this guy right here. I know, it's a belt. But I've worn this belt for a year. And this belt has, is, has been my go-to, literally, for an entire year. This is a belt by the guys over there at Vetter. Handcrafted belts, Vetter. This is... A bad mamma jamma. I really do like this. And also a Vetter holster. And I want to do a full blown review on this guy because I've worn this one for a full year. This has been my go to, what do you call it? Holster out of waistband for the very long time. And I feel like it has earned its place in uh, as being one of my favorite, absolute favorite holsters from those guys at Vetter. Uh, talk about being tight it's perfect uh that's it that's all we're going to be doing this week 
another thing we're going to be testing out is this guy right here. This is a new red dot by the Holosun. Uh, and as soon as I get a good warm and fuzzy feeling about putting this out, we will because I'm actually going to transfer it over to this guy right here. This is the uh, X5 Legion. And uh, we've got some more parts coming for we're going to build another X5. But this is going to be my combat X5. So this is going to go on to a rig. Uh, we're going to do a competition right pistol. And then we're going to do a battle born pistol. So this is going to be something that I'm putting together. Uh, that's based off of something that I feel would be incredible uh, as a sidearm full time. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. We got a busy week coming up. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, again, put your questions down below if you have anything. I know we're going to be having a lot of questions on the red dots. We're going to have a lot of questions on the uh, primary arms ACSS three times prism scope. We're going to also do this whole thing again with five, five, six. And uh, when we do the five, five, six, we'll actually do the field test for this guy. So with that being said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, that's it. Oh, this guy behind me is going through a major transition for uh, use in the Sniper Unknown with my buddy Rick, is your six cover who just got back from, uh, uh, I can't remember who did that competition out there. But anyway, he and X-Ring did had a great time. It's Boy 32 If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.